Well, it is that time of year. Then Western New York starts flocking to the waterfront and one of the most popular spots down there is Wilkeson Point on the Outer Harbor. Yeah, it's got some great views of the city and the lake, but a bit of history hidden in plain sight. Now, maybe you've wondered about those marble pieces dotting the landscape. Well, as we find out in this week's unknown story of Western New York, they're pieces of a grand building known at the time as Buffalo's Marble Temple. When we think of M&T Bank, its spectacular one M&T Plaza may come to mind. Yes, it's one of our modernist masterpieces by Minoru Yamasaki from 1966 or thereabouts. It is one of his masterpieces. It's one of our modernist masterpieces, too. But this isn't the first architectural masterpiece the banking giant has called home. They definitely want to send a message that we're trustworthy, we're solid, we're safe and protected, and that we're part of a long tradition. So that's why they often used very traditional motifs in their building designs. And so in 1913, they began construction on this spectacular Greek revival headquarters at 268 Main Street at the corner of Swan. As the bank merged with others and rapidly grew, they moved out in 1928, selling the building known to many as the Marble Temple to the Federal Reserve. It was ultimately demolished in 1959. But while it may be gone, it is certainly not forgotten. All you need to do is head to Wilkeson Point on the waterfront, where these huge chunks of gorgeous marble were uncovered as they cleared the land for the park. That's right, once used as fill, they're now part of the design. They were salvaged from the M&T Bank that used to be at the southwest corner of Maine and Swan. It was a Greek Revival temple, big tall columns, and it was designed by the most prestigious architectural firm of the day. And now in the shadow of M&T's newest offices in the Seneca One Tower sits a gleaming reminder of what once was. Yeah, it's great that the public can see those and, and go right up and touch them and that there's something that telling you what you're looking at so you don't have to guess anymore. But I kind of wish we still had the original bank. <laughs> Pieces of Buffalo history hiding in plain sight at the waterfront and within the unknown stories of Western New York. They are so beautiful, but you also, they're also kind of reminiscent of the marble statue things that you see at UB North, right, by the yeah. lake. And there's a reason for that. Those columns that sit right there by Lake LaSalle at UB North, they're also from the Marble Temple. In fact, you can drive around town and you may be able to pick some out just up the street from us at 469 Franklin in Allentown. It's the former Tony, Tony Sisti gallery. You see little pill Those are from the Marble Temple as well. I had no idea. Yeah. Just got to look around a little bit more yep. and listen to your unknown stories. <laughs>